Hello everyone. Welcome to Unki's Coloring Therapy. Today I would like to share with you how I colored the face part of Lucy Lou Vampire Queen. First I would like to start with the color of her face. It's a Sinhan Touch Brush Marker R131. As you can see I just fill it up uh, the entire face just to not to go over on the black line too much because my printer is inkjet printer so it does much when I go over too much on the black line Next, I would like to add some uh, very strong red to make it a little bit more creepy and more vampire looking. The color I use is a Sinhan Touch Marker R5. It's uh, more of pink. And I went over with the the Sinhan Touch Brush R131 to blend a little bit on the underneath of eyes. And all around the edges and uh, highlights. And then I used Prismacolor PB4. It's a red color to find some deeper part of her eyes I used a Scholar Prismacolor pencil 423 this is like a light grayish blue and it's gonna make uh, the face very pale so Just around the sketch line on the face line and then on the hand Just follow the sketch line to make all entire face kind of blue color to it Then I used a color pencil to blend around the eyes, the red um, to skin tone to pink to red, make it more smoothly um, blended. Someone asked me if I prefer to use color pencils because I use them a lot on the video. But I bought like 24 colors set at the staples for wicked price and I think it's decent quality. But I really like the new ones I got. I got just three, four new colors, uh, white and black and a few skin tones. And I really like this uh, fiber castell uh, color pencils. As you see, I use lots of black pencil and it's really short I just uh, dropped it on the on the desk so definitely the black pencil shading is my favorite part to shade the eyes I'll do more black on the corner of the eyes and then gradually um, lighter in the middle of the eyes which is the highest part of the eyes so it kind of making the eyelids round as you can see you can compare right one with the shading it looks more round and left one looks
flat. Put some highlights with the white Let's add some blood I would blend it out a little bit to make it look smudged I want you to use really subtle color for eyeball so I used Sinhan PG179 for just little color to it this is another my favorite part I always um, put, add some black under the eyelid to make a depth and it's I really like the effect so put a shade under the eyelid that will separate the eyelid and eyeball and bring the eyelid forward so it looks like um, almost two objects so it's, it doesn't, it also make it not as flat Thanks for watching!